Cranes and construction sites circle Hong Kong's harbour front. Land is slowly devouring these waters as the city expands its footprint. These scientists are keeping a close watch on what's happening on land, but an even closer watch on what's going on beneath the water and what might be happening to the coral. We have pollution that derives from development, particularly from sewage, uh, industrial effluents that have heavy metal contamination. Uh, we also have a lot of sedimentation that results from reclamation activities. And so all of these things synergistically affect coral in a very negative way. David Baker is leading this international research team. The group is diving at key spots around the harbour, logging coral species and how they're faring in the face of these tough conditions. And no one was expecting this. I am actually pretty surprised because uh, if you have, you have the numbers of the water quality, nutrient concentration, etc., they, they shouldn't be any coral living in Hong Kong. Just a few nautical miles from container ports, high-rise housing estates, major construction sites and seven million people, the divers have found coral not just alive, but thriving. It's remarkable. I mean, we can dive in places that you think where no coral could survive. Uh, polluted harbours, marinas, uh, areas close to wastewater discharges, and you still can find a corals or coral relatives. So far, the team has recorded more than 80 different species of hard coral. That's more than what's been identified in the entire Caribbean Sea. Pretty a very clear day in Hong Kong. And uh, in this site, we saw a great diversity of corals around. And we, we even saw some little schools of fishes today. So it's a pretty nice day today. Like any other marine environment around the world, this region is feeling the impacts of climate change and development. But the stronger types of coral species here are holding on despite the unrelenting conditions. And scientists are trying to establish how they survive. On each dive, the scientists collect fragments of coral to monitor and cultivate. We can actively grow them, we can fragment them, we can create baby corals. And eventually our goal is to put them back into the sites where they came from. The fact these corals are thriving is leaving scientists baffled. So we could make a hypothesis that the corals here have been selected for only the strongest, the only the strongest survive. So it could be that the corals that we do have in Hong Kong today are super corals that may ha hold some secrets for coral survival globally in the future. It's an underwater mystery offering a glimmer of hope for a habitat under threat. Sarah Clark, Al Jazeera, Hong Kong.